What's going on everybody? It is I, Xenox is bringing you some Dogen Battle content. Today I want to go over the campaign uh, campaign stuff. So this is going to be like a campaign overview. I'm going to go over the login bonus, the uh, what's included in the campaign, and then go over each of the events and tell you what you should or shouldn't be worried about farming. So to start things off, we got the 1500 days login bonus. I'm not really sure what the 1500 days login bonus is supposed to mean, but for first login, if you started today, you would get 15 stones, one Kai, one of the uh, diamond turkey statues, and 10 good training rooms. And then each day, you get uh, stuff. So we have the orbs. I get a lot of questions about keys. You get keys through the login bonus. Every, every couple of days, they'll give you a different key. Uh, more orbs, more keys. This is a pretty good login bonus, with the final day giving us three Sleeping Kais as well. Um, not as many Sleeping Kais as the four-year, of course, but, you know, still pretty good. So we also have special missions. They are pretty easy to do. Daily consuming stamina, clear stages... Um, and then Z Awakening characters, extreme battles. Uh, right now, there is the Family Command May Extreme Battle up, and then soon there's going to be the Janimba Easy A up. Um, so there's that. I got lucky, and before Omega Shenron's Easy A went away, not the actual Easy A, but the event that gives you to Goku, uh, I forgot that I hadn't finished it yet, so I did the last three stages. And got that done. Uh, last five stages, sorry, and got that done. You know, clearing stages. You get a lot of a lot of orbs, a lot of stones. Um, it's a total of 28 stones for that. Um, we also daily have the Hercule heart pumping gifts. It's kind of a it's a more gotcha login bonus system. It, if you get this, like, good on you. Because, for me, this just is kind of, eh. And it's eh because you can't, free-to-play character players can't reliably, you know, do this. If you're 10 stones off of a summon, and this goes away in two days, and somebody, if everybody's two stones away, and half of them get this last one during those last two days, they can do another multi. You see what I'm saying? But these guys can't. I mean, granted, there's no PvP aspect in the game, so all it really does is just go, eh, this guy was more lucky than I was. <coughs> My apologies. Um, we go over to the summons. Of course, the banner is out. Um, we got the events. Campaign. Here we go. The Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission Crossover Campaign. Uh, starts off with the missions and the celebration and the login bonuses. We got a small stone sale. It's kind of shitty, but hey, it's extra stones. Um, we have the banner, then the story mission, and then starting on the 18th, we will ha so this this weekend we will have uh, Janimba's in Janimba's EZA, his event and Gohan's event. Um, I believe he's weak to movie heroes or hybrid Saiyans. I can't remember which. Um, so their events are going to be live. And then we're going to have a world tournament next Thursday. Uh, it's currently Tuesday. Right? No, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday today. We'll, we'll have uh, the 29th world tournament with the SDR um, Goku Black reward card. Um, and the, also going on right now, there's the ghostly prank, uh, with the Super Saiyan Gotenks and Ghosts. He's really good, and he's worth rainbowing. It's a shame that he's only an SSR, not a, UR, a TUR, but, you know, he's still really, really solid. Goku and friends are back. This has the radishes, and you can farm up any base Gotenks and, uh, Tarble. Uh, and then there's these two events. And unless you have something that awakens through these, they're pretty worthless. Uh, then we have the rabbit, which starts on Sunday. Um, no, two Sundays from now. That's weird. Um, and this coming back, two Sundays from now. 
also very weird. So let's quickly do an overview of the events here. Uh, Super Dragon Ball Heroes. So this is what you get each stage. I a stage. I found that the two most annoying stages are the character droppable ones, one and four. Um, sometimes you'll get like ten rows in a run where you don't get a drop, and that's you know that that's typical. That's a typical Dokkan event. And if you pulled on that banner a lot and you got one of each character, have fun because you will have to do all of these stages over and over and over and over again. They only drop a maximum of two medals per run. So, for a guy like Silas, um, not Silas, for um, Baby Janimba, I had to get 20 of these stage 7 medals. These Silas medals. You know, um, Super Saiyan 3 Gohan took 20 of the uh, Supreme Kai. So, I mean, it, there are kind of, it, this is kind of an annoying stage to farm, and there's no real reason to farm these guys out after you 100% them. The uh, beat and alms are very good. You can 100% them without, you know, feeling regret. If we take a look, Goku and, Goku and friends. Uh, it's just these four stages. This is where you do Tarble. That's where you do uh, Gotenks. And then here's the Radishes. The Radishes are random, but there are some good prizes in there. We'll go over that in a minute. This is practically worthless, if I remember right. Yeah, there's medals here, but you can also get these during the weekends, during the Hero Extermination event. Strongest Rivals, again, I mean, there's these guys, and if you want to farm up a really shitty... Uh, King Cold or uh, Frost, no, not Frost, Chilled, or Metal uh, Mecha Frieza or Cooler. Th these guys are all here, but they're they're bad. They're real bad. And the Ghost Prank event. The only reason you want to do this is the Go Tanks. I mean, you can get training items and Awakening medals, but it it's random. It's completely random on that. Now, finally, to go over what is in the uh, Radish shop. The small radishes, which are the um, glowing panels, like if you're looking for incredible gems, this is where those are. These are really easy. Uh, the Goku at the end of that stage frequently drops a lot of radishes, so you can farm all of this pretty easily. Though, of course, my biggest suggestion is if there's other events going on, <sighs> Don't worry about these. Get the Z swords and the training locations, and don't worry about anything else. Uh, get what you need. This, however, you definitely want to grab the two Kai's. Kai's aren't exactly hard to get, but the more you have, the better, right? So just farm enough for these two Kai's. That should make you do like 60 runs or so, a couple days worth of farming. And that's really it. There's no metal fruits anymore, there's no Hercule badges. Everything is gone right now. Um, hopefully, earlier you got rid of all your uh, your uh, anniversary coins. The anniversary is over. There is no more coins. And if you don't use them, then there's no reason to have them. As far as we know. Alright, guys. That's going to be it. I got some more grinding to do myself. So, thank you all for watching. And I'll check you out later. Peace.